I'm not finna pant into this microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at the photo album I have here on my DDD. I've got so many shots of Lucifer on his knees from so many different angles. I'm especially fond of this low angle shot and this one taken from Satan's perspective, looking down at Lucifer. Oh, after all that, we were still unable to undo the jar. We still weren't able to undo the jar. Oh, well then, you should work on my wish next. Sure, I guess we can do that. If y'all hear that noise outside, I'm sorry. <laughs> hmm. Well, you don't sound very excited about it, do you? I just, you know, I feel like we're never gonna be able to break free of this charm. Well, granted, my wish might do the trick, right? Now, let's see. When a charm went into effect, I was talking with Stellium. And I'm pretty sure I was talking about how I wanted to do something nice for Stellium to show my gratitude. Sounds fishy to me. <laughs> Why? There's no way you just wanted to do something nice. You had to have had an ulterior motive, Asmo. You should really have more faith in Asmo. He can be innocent sometimes. Stellium, does that mean you believe me? <laughs> You're absolutely adorable. I love you so much, Stellium. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, okay, I he's probably not gonna do too much, right? You know, not too much. Hmm, but I have to admit, Levi, you're probably right to be suspicious. Because at the time, I was actually thinking that I would really like to charm Stellium. You know, as a reward for helping me. What do you mean by charm? As a reward for helping me win the Bloody Moon competition. You call that a reward? You wanted to do that for you, not Stellium. What, what do you mean by charm? But I thought your charm didn't work on Stellium. That's right. <laughs> Which is exactly why I'm super curious to find out what would happen if my charm did work, you know? Oh, okay. Well, I mean, that's not that bad of an arterial motive. He's just wondering what happens if it works. Oh. <laughs> okay, changing the subject. Why'd you insist on doing this in your room anyway? This place is less than comfortable. I mean, think about it. If I did manage to charge Stellium, I'd want some privacy, right? Ah, okay, wait a minute. Yeah, all right. See, um, Asmo, I ain't trying to do all that, you know? You know, I'm just trying to chill and relax. You know, I have a good old time, but not like that. Not too much. What? So with that said, if you feel uncomfortable, Levi, you're always free to leave. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and do that anyway? Not you know I can't do that, Asmo. Mm. To be completely honest, I'm already trying to charge Stellium as we speak. Oh, okay. Now Stellium, look into my eyes, Kay. Mm. What do you think? Do you feel anything yet? Um, <laughs> embarrassed. Mm, so it was really not working then. Oh, uh, yeah, not really. <laughs> Does it work on Levi? He's in here, man. Wait, what? Stellium, why would you even ask him that? <laughs> would you like to see for yourself? I'm, I'm a little bit scared, but sure.
You know, long ago, I actually did try Miss Charming Mammon and Satan, but I guess I've never tried it on you, Levi, have I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, why are you talking about charming me all of a sudden? I thought it was Stellium you wanted to charm. Well, I have always wanted to see what would happen if I tried it on you. Now, come on, Levi. Why don't you look into my eyes? Quit, quit it. Hey, I said quit it. Okay, okay, fine. I was just teasing you, so relax, Levi. Huh. That was me, Nazbo, to think you used to to think that you used to be so cute and sweet. Whoa. <laughs> Excuse me? I'm still cute and sweet. Thank you very much. Were you even cuter in the past? Hmm. I guess it was more that I was a different kind of cute. I used to be an angel in every sense of the word, but I guess you could say that now I've got more of a mature, charming sort of cuteness. <laughs> if you're curious, I could show you what I mean. Ta-da! Feast your eyes on this. It's an album full of pictures of me back when I was an angel. Wow, really? See, what did I tell you? I really was an angel. in every sense of the word. Now let's see. This is me and bitch is waking up from the night before. And this is me getting out of the bath. See how my hair is still wet? <laughs> and this is me lifting weights, looking all sweaty and sexy. And here's me with glasses on looking very serious as I, was, as I read my book. <laughs> oh, and here's me feeding someone cake. And this is me at the beach playfully splashing water on someone and get a splash too. Just look at that innocent smile. Curse. Oh, as much as I don't want to admit it, you really do look cute in those pictures. You did a lot of the same things you do now, but just the fact that you were an angel somehow made it cute. Yep, totally cute. <laughs> I didn't know, right? Wait a minute, is it just me or? Stellium, <laughs> would you happen to be falling for me just a bit? Because I think I'm detecting an aroma of attraction coming from- Whoa, you are? That ain't coming from me, it's coming from Le Levi. <laughs> Stellium, is that true? To grant his wish, we're just gonna play into it. I'm so, I feel like Asmo's the only one I'd be like lying to. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Asmo. <laughs> Cause I don't want to crush Levi. I mean, I don't want to crush Asmo's hopes and dreams. <laughs> I think I might have fallen for you, Asmo. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Yeah, I did it. I made you fall for me just a little short, but I did it. To be honest, I think it would have been the same anyway, because because Asma would be like, no, I smell it on you. Mm -mm. Tell about some, I'm not sure I smell it. <laughs> to be honest, I was hoping to drive you mad with desire. That was my eventual goal. At least. Oh, but even so, I seriously can't, couldn't be happier. This is all I need for now. You made my wish come true. Oh, but we're struck out again. The charm is still going strong. Hot. So that's why we need to know what's what we were doing when the charm took effect, Bill. And what's going through your head at the time as well. So let's hear it. Although I have a feeling I already know what the answer is. At the time, I'm pretty sure that I... That I... I 
I'd be really surprised if it's not about food, but I'm I'm assuming it's actually gonna not be about the food, but I'm gonna say this anyway. <laughs> yeah, you know it has to be. This is gonna be easy. Uh. Well, I was hungry at the time, but I was also thirsty. So I was thinking about how much I would like something to drink. All right, so all you have to do is have something to drink and that's and that takes care and that takes care of your wish right yes finally we've reached a feel-good chapter of our story when everything starts looking up and it's not like it can just be any drink though i was actually thinking about how much i like to have a siren song you idiot of all the drinks you could think of why did you have to choose one as strange and difficult as that okay so here's what we'll have here's what we'll need to mix a siren song some cemetery tequila and deaf scorpion syrup mm, looks like it's just two parts cemetery tequila and one part deaf scorpion syrup and that's it i want you to add some Go to this hidden tree for us and garnish too. Hmm, you sure are demanding. Okay. But it looks like we've got everything we need here. So then what's the problem? Um. What's the problem? Finding the ingredients is the easy part. What's difficult is making it. <laughs> you see, it's not your average drink. It's a real pain to make, but it's very good. You see, you have to listen to the siren song while you're preparing it. Oh. That's what makes it such a pain. Uh. Yep, listening to it will cause you to lose your mind. Basically, it makes you want to jump into the nearest body of water. Well, is there any water nearby? If not, then um, I think we're good here. Yep, and apparently it ends with you drowning. I'm a good swimmer. Uh, that's terrifying. Uh. Yeah, it really is. If you die, then no more enjoying yummy food. For starters, we're going to need a siren song. Where can we hear the song of a siren? You know, I'm pretty sure that Lucifer has a recording of a siren song in his record collection. Okay. Come on, let's head to the music room to see what we can find. Uh. This isn't it. Not this either. Still not it. Still, I have to admit, Lucifer's got one impressive record collection. It's nothing but rare stuff. That's why Mammon's tried to steal from him so many times, huh? Yeah, and every single time Lucifer catches him and hangs him up by his feet. You think Mammon will learn? Anyway, where is this cyber recording? Um, I'll help look for it. Thanks, I appreciate that you want to help, but and I wish you could, but. It's actually a bad idea. What, I can't touch none of the stuff because I'm a human? Oh. Right, you better not touch any of these records, Stelio. Uh. Lucifer has a lot of strange stuff in his vinyl collection. You know, records that do weird things. Cursed records. And if you touch something like that by accident, you'll end up cursing yourself. Oh, hey. Look, I think this might be maybe it. Yep, no doubt about it. A song of a siren. Okay. Great, okay, I'll whip up the cocktail. Meanwhile, Stellium, Bill, you both need to keep your ears covered. Got it. All right. Look. Two parts cemetery tequila, one part death scorpion syrup. I'm not finna pant into this microphone. <laughs> uh. You okay, Levi? Yeah, thanks for asking. 
I've got my earplugs in, but still, it's pretty bad. Wait, that's not right. You haven't forgotten a guillotine tree fruit, have you? Really? At a time like this, you're worried about garnish? Even when my ear is covered, I can still faintly hear the song. It's an incredibly beautiful, bewitching melody. Oh, I'm going to keep my ears covered. Bro, what the F? Still not done yet, Levi? J just a bit more to go. It's... It's done! That was awful. <laughs> oh, that's the stuff. That was the best cocktail I've ever had. Good, then it was worth the effort. Wait, no it wasn't. The charm, it, it hasn't gone away. I guess that means our last hope is Belfi. Of course it's gonna be Belfi's wish. Doggone sleeping beauty. Locked in the tower. According to Bill, we should find Belfi in his room. Hey, Stelio, what do you think Belfi's wish is? <laughs> mm. Well, he does love his bed, yeah. Huh. Oh, please let this be something easy. No, I don't know, though. Belfi has a weird way of thinking, even compared to the rest of us. He always insists on being difficult, so I have a feeling this won't be so straightforward. So you want to know what I was thinking at the time? Sure, I remember. I had come back from the party and I was in my room. <laughs> I was hoping that maybe I could hang out with Stellium in the next day and we could have a nice cozy nap together. <laughs> yes, this time it... It's for real. We finally reached the feel good. Everything turns around and we end the victorious chapter. <laughs> I was worried you were going to make us do something bizarre, but this is actually pretty normal. Yay. Okay, Levi, get out. <laughs> huh? I told you my wish was to take a nap with Stellium. And if you're around, I won't be able to relax. So go on, get out. Whoa, hey, stop pushing me. All right, fine. I'll go. I'll go, okay? Hmm. Great, so now he's out the way. I take it you're willing to do this, Delion? You'll grant, you'll grant my wish? Of course. <laughs> you know, every once in a while, Levi messes up in a way that actually benefits me. Alright, come here. Sit on the bed and let me rest my head on your lap. For how long? Aw. Oh, now this is nice. I feel so pampered. I really should have wished for something even more special. You know, now that I think about it, if we don't break the charm, then... We'll forget everything that happened today, and then we'll just repeat the day over again, won't we? Well, in that case, we're free to do stuff that we'll never do normally, right? I mean, we're gonna forget everything anyway, which means it'll be like it never happened. No, Belfi, I will remember, just like I remember you killing me. I'm gonna keep breaking it up for as long as it bothers me. <laughs> so, we can do whatever we want, can't we? What are you... What are you inferring here? Well then, why just lie here napping? That's not very interesting. <laughs> what do you say we do something more fun, Stelium? And what is that for you, sir? So, what do you want to do, Stellium? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to discover a new side of me? 
one you wouldn't normally get to see. And what is that side of you, Belfie? Hmm, what is that? Sure. Uh, I wanted to be a jerk, but I, I guess we're, yeah, sure. I like that. Let me, show me the side of you so maybe I'll like you a little bit more. All right, I wouldn't do this for anyone else, but you're different. And in such an exchange, you have to do the same. I want to see a side of you that you've never shown to anyone else. Hey, I'm not a child. Not all. This does feel pretty good. I guess I don't mind. I'm not the slightest bit sleepy. I'll never mash not off like this. Help me go to sleep, Stelio. Sing me a lullaby. That might do the trick. Sure. Maybe I'll try singing the song of the siren. Girl, what are you trying to do? Send him into the doggone ocean? Hey, I know that song. Where have I heard it before? Something about it feels familiar in a good sort of way. Oh, that's right. Now I remember. <laughs> that sounds like the song of the siren. Bill Lilith and I listened to it once, a very long time ago. We did it while Lucifer wasn't watching. As we listened to it, Bill suddenly started acting crazy. He ran into the bathroom and tried to drunk, jump into the completely full tub with his clothes on. Lilith and I both frantically tried to stop him. It was a real ordeal. Both of us and my brothers who heard the commotion and came rushing in to help, ended up soaking wet. But even so, it was pretty fun. And of course he sleep. Stelia, huh? Mm. How's it going? Has Belfie fallen asleep? He's asleep. His wish was granted, and it was crazy simple. Mm. Whoa, that was close. Nearly woke him up. But wait a minute. The charm still hasn't gone away. Oh, so it didn't work. Both his wish wasn't the right one either. But what about your wish, Levi? We should have did it from the beginning. Grr. I, I was really hoping we wouldn't have to go there. Huh. Yep, yeah, just as I thought. We haven't broken a charm. So break the loop, the time loop charm. A wish made at the moment of the game's launch must be realized four days in. The game shall remain unplayable until the charm is broken. Always remember, break street date, play the price. Pay the price. That's what it says. Oh, I want to break this charm. Some of my favorite anime comes out on DVD next week. And a week after that, and that, the release calendar is absolutely packed. But... If it means having to make my wish come true, well. I'm just gonna wait here until you tell me. Okay. Levi, deep breaths. In. And out. In and out. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Huh. At the time the charm triggered, I was actually thinking that, well, that it would be great if you and I could game all night together. Are you serious, bro? 
I mean, like, whenever we game, whether it's here in my room or in yours, Bill or Mammon or someone always shows up to spoil things. And, like, I was just thinking about how it's never just the two of us gaming alone. Please don't tell me you're grossed out by this. No. Yes, I'm gonna tease you about it since you made it so big of a deal. <laughs> what? D don't say it's cute. How is what I said in any way cute? Seriously, you need to warn me before saying something like that. I'm not used to people saying that sort of stuff to me. All right, time to game all night, dude. Let's get this on. Let's get it on to the early morning. <laughs> all right, I really get the game all night. Just me and Stelio. Here's your controller. Tonight, we game all the night away. I mean, we game the night away. And he's asleep. Hmm. Stellium, wake up! Wake up! The charm is gone! The charm is gone! And look, the title screen to House of Sorrow. The game's actually running. Yes! We made it out to Time Loop. Say hello to a brand new day. Now we can actually play House of Sorrow. Uh, that's exactly what I was thinking. I mean, we lifted the charm, which means we can play to our heart's content. Well, it looks like the charm's gone, huh? It will seem that way, yes. But as soon as one crisis ends, another is sure to rear its ugly head. Why would you even say that? I'm sick of it. <laughs> If I could just have one month free of this, one week even. I just want to be able to have a bit of peace and quiet and not have to worry about some disaster unfolding. Hmm, I doubt you even get three days of that. <laughs> you... Ah. Now they're out there cutting the grass. Wonderful. Wonderful. My, 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 my. You know, I can't help wondering. Just how many times we experienced yesterday as part of the time loop. Aren't you curious? I imagine Barbados would know, right? After all, he's a demon with the power to see the future. Hmm. I want to know, but I sort of don't want to know at the same time. Oh, but I still have my pictures of Lucifer kneeling in front of Satan on my DDD. Lucifer looks so amazing in these shots. No matter how many times I look at him, it never gets old. Oh, I love it. Make sure you don't show those to Mammon. He'll end up using them to start some trouble. Speaking of which, where are Ma Mammon and Satan? Maybe they're still sleeping? Lucifer, take this! <laughs> Grar. What the heck? What? What? Whoa! Oh! Damn it, Lucifer! Why'd you have to dodge out of the way right before I could get to you? Of course, he tried to put a bangle on him. I would have loved that though. Well, if I hadn't gone out the way, you would have tried to put that bangle on me now, wouldn't you? So Damn it. Gotcha. Did he get it? He got it! You shouldn't have <laughs> let your guard down, Lucifer. 
Man, it was just a decoy. I had the real bangle, and I just put it on you. <laughs> you totally fell for it. So. <laughs> so, what do you mean, so? After all the trouble Levi caused, I've had it up to here. Which is to say, I'm in a bad mood. I'm not going to play along with your little pranks. Ooh. What, what's going on, Zayden? The bangle isn't working. Yeah. N no, it's working. This is just Lucifer being honest with us. What, but this is how I thought he. This isn't how I thought he'd act. How'd you think he was gonna act? Ask him a question. Why don't you just ask him a question? Did you? Do you really think that this toy of yours is any match for me? Did he just destroy it? I don't believe it. He broke the thing. He just destroyed the bangle. Unbelievable. Only the person who put that on was supposed to be able to take it off. If you want to get the better of me, that toy of yours isn't going to cut it. Perhaps try lethal poison or some horrific insect. Aged a thousand years for me. Maximum potency. Oh, oh my. <laughs> wow. Lucifer, that was amazing. I love it. Huh? Oh, is it just oh, me? Cool. Or is this real, real bad? Uh, uh. Guess the plan failed. You know, I've just about run out of new and in in inventive ways to punish you. But I happen to have some poison taken from a truly horrific insect aged a thousand years on hand. Instead of using it on me, you could try it out for yourself. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> uh. We've got a problem. Uh, a yeah. bad problem. Huh? Uh, he startled me, Bill. How long have you been there? I'm sorry, Lucifer. You ate the thing? Oh, what is it this time? What did you do? Enough. Not another word. I don't want to hear it. Well, Lucifer looks like your peaceful respite didn't even last half a day. Welcome to the Demon Lord's Castle, Lucifer. Lord Diablo has been looking forward to your arrival quite eagerly, actually. Well, you certainly seem happy today, Barbados. Is it that obvious? I am quite happy, yes, for two reasons. First, because the young master's mind is now at ease. Lately, he's been quite anxious. Worried that he may have angered a certain demon. <laughs> but then this demon accepted his invitation to tea, which has which came as a great relief. And the second reason? Because I heard something that I can't help but find amusing. Where it has it that one of Leviathan's gains has caused quite a bit of trouble for everyone. News reaches you fast, I see. I'll take it that as a compliment. It's possible that we've had this exact conversation hundreds of times now as well. This sends shivers down my spine just thinking about it. Are you curious to know how many times this makes? If I said yes, would you actually tell me? As someone who can see the future and everything it holds, I assume you must know. No, actually I don't. You see, I only use my power to see the future when Lord Diablo specifically requests so. Also, it would be quite dull knowing exactly what the future holds at all times, don't you think? <laughs> you do have a point. Yeah. Lucifer, I'm so glad you can make it. 
I told you I'd be here, didn't I? You did, yes, but the trouble Leviathan caused must be keeping you very busy, no? I was worried you might not be able to make it. Well, if anyone has a lot on their plate right now, it's you, right, Diavolo? Yeah. Nothing is more important to me than sharing tea with you, Lucifer. This takes precedence. <laughs> Such flattery. You say that, but you prioritize coming here to see me as well, even though you're in the midst of an ongoing crisis. Here, look at this tea set. It's the first time we've ever used it. I brought out Pacific specifically because you were coming today. And here's today's tea. It's a human world variety that had to be specifically ordered. And here we have our cake which Barbados made. He chose it because it pairs well with the tea. Oh. Thank you. Pardon me while I indulge. Hmm, that is good tea. Yes, I thought you might like it. You know, sitting here with you like this, I'm actually able to forget about the latest crisis for a moment. Well, feel free to stay here and relax as long as you like. Hmm, now that you're having tea with me, I can't help but think. The idea of being stuck repeat repeating this day for all eternity doesn't sound half bad. <laughs> okay. Oh, don't even joke about that. <laughs> I'm glad you are enjoying yourself, young master. However, I must also inform you that I have quite the stack of paperwork for you to sign after you're done here. Knowing that, would you still like to repeat this day for all eternity? <laughs> I take back what I said. <laughs> you laughed just now, didn't you, Lucifer? It must have been your imagination. Oh no, you definitely laughed, I saw you. <laughs> Perhaps you should focus on your tea, Diavolo. It's getting cold, you know. Seriously, I don't believe Belfi. How could he just kick me out of this, his realm? I wonder if Stelion will have trouble getting him to go to sleep. Wait, what if this works like an Atome game? And Stelion unlocked a romantic interlude with Belfi just now. Uh... Oi. Quiet. Da. <laughs> Quit shouting in a hallway. Oh, Satan, it's just you. Meh. Don't you meh me. Thanks to you, Lucifer found out about the bangle. I already told you, I'm sorry. Words alone aren't going to cut it, Levi. You need to show me what that you mean it. Huh? What are you talking about? I know you buy stuff on Akizan every single day without fail. I won't deny that, yes. <laughs> so I'm guessing you must have accumulated quite a lot of raven by now. Well, I want you to let me use them to do some shopping of my own. What? Boy. Whose fault is it that I had to sit he there and listen to Lucifer lecture me endlessly? Mm. Oh, okay, fine. But what is it you're planning on buying anyway? Oh, what do you think of this? Candy that turns anyone who eats it into a child. Huh. Oh, hey, that's the same company. That's a, the same company sells a gum that makes you randomly meow like a cat when you're talking. Hmm, turning into a child or uncontrolled meowing. It's hard to cross either one off the list. Let's just add both to the cart. Okay. Yeah, those the both keepers, huh? Akiza really has a nice selection of interesting stuff we you could use to prank Lucifer. Boy. Just make sure he doesn't find out about it next time. Got it? Oh, yes, yeah. I told you it won't happen again. Oh, what about this? It's a chair, but when you sit on it, it starts jumping around and bucks you off. Yeah. Well, if you don't like that, this is even better. 
It's a cushion that makes whoever sits on it start to hiccup uncontrollably. That is terrible. <laughs> Check out this cultery. It makes everything you eat taste like slugs. And let's get this glass to go with it. It makes anything you drink taste like brains. Bro, what? So he'll eat something with the cultery, which will taste like slugs. And then he'll panic and grab his glass of water, only to be greeted by the taste of brains. <laughs> Satan, you're a genius. Guess we're adding both to the cart, huh? Okay, we found a lot of good stuff at this point. I say that's enough. Okay, then let's just let me just confirm the purchase. Clickety click. Huh? Wait a minute. What's going on? It won't let me complete the purchase. Hmm? Look, it's a warning. It says if you want to complete your purchase, you have to get permission from the parent or guardian in charge of the <laughs> this account. You've got to be kidding me. Uh, Lucifer put a parental lock on my Aggieson account. A parental lock? <laughs> parental lock. So Looks like he was one step ahead of us. Wow. Well, that's it for lesson 34. I actually do want to keep going, but I do not think I will have time to do the next lesson. So, yeah, this was actually kind of fun. I hope I can maybe actually finish the whole OG Obey Me. I'm not sure if I'm going to play Nightbringer. Now, I thought I was going to play it because I was, I was liking the whole rhythm game thing and I was liking the story. But I don't know, a lot of people are complaining that it's really hard to get through. I'm like, what's the Nightbringer tea? Anybody got the Nightbringer tea? Want to tell me in the comments um, what's going on with that without spoiling anything for me? <laughs> but, um, yeah. So I hope this video was nice and positive and fun for you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.